Hiya guys, well I think I'm safe to assume that this game needs no introduction. You've all been screaming for it for a month now if not a bit longer. But for those of you who don't know, this is Project Zomboid. This is the latest official test release available off the Indie Stone forums, version RC 2.5, as you can see down in the bottom corner here. Now, I was going to wait until the next official release before I made another new series, but I've been getting itchy fingers, I've been dying to make another series. And like I say, everybody on my channel has been screaming for it, and I think I've made you wait long enough now, so we'll dive straight into another sandbox mode. Now in the next official release, story mode should be back up and running, and um, getting a lot of updates on that very very quickly as well. A lot more content getting added. But for the moment, in this view, in sandbox mode, we've lost our little character viewer there. And that's because the sprite in-game is now being made in a 3D engine, um, which is a lot lot better, makes it look so much smoother. Honestly, wait, you'll see for yourself when we get in there. But I mean, that's no big, big deal at the moment, we don't really need to see what we're going to look like before we jump in. Um, there is a little bug at the moment where if you change the name, I think if you delete the whole first name or the first letter, uh, the game will crash. So we'll just leave our character set to Thomas Bailey. Now we select our profession. I think I'm going to choose Fire Officer. So we'll get the buffed stats for the axe, such as double speed breaking through doors and a faster swing. Here we can choose the traits. Now obviously we need to purchase red traits to give us points to spend on green traits. Basically meaning you need to have a disability to get a plus. So we'll have a quick scan through and see if there's anything red that we don't mind taking. I'll take light drinker because I don't drink much alcohol in real life or in the game. I'm not going to take clumsy, that's not a good one to have. I'm not going to take short sighted or hypochondriac. Hard of hearing. Now obviously that means I can't hear zombies from as quite as far away as what I normally can. But to be honest I am quite hard of hearing in real life. I do catch myself asking people to repeat themselves. So we'll stay true to life for that one as well. We'll choose hard of hearing. That's given us 4 points to spend on green traits. Positive traits so far. But let's have another further look down. We don't want to take claustrophobic. I don't really want to take weak or cowardly. Prone illness? Definitely not. Brooding. Recover slowly from bad moods. Yeah, we'll take that. That's not quite true to life, I don't believe. I don't think I, uh, I stay in a bad mood for very long, to be quite honest. But we'll take it for the points, because now we've got six points to spend. And obviously, if we can't spend all six, then we'll hopefully get rid of one. Hearty appetite, that means I'm going to eat, need to eat a lot more. I don't want that. Short temper gives you plus four. Makes you quick to anger. So we've got possibly 10 points to spend. Let's see what I can get. Strong will take 6 off a straight away. But I get extra knockback and increased carrying weight. That's quite good. These ones that are in red, I can't choose. Because then would clash with something I've already picked from the red ones over here. So for instance, I can't take hard and drinker because I'm already a light drinker. So if I took, I could take strong and graceful, that would be two quite good ones to take actually, I think I'll do that. So I've got extra knockback from melee weapons, increased carrying weight, I've already got double speed breaking through doors with axe and faster axe swing, and I also make less noise when I'm moving. But the bad things are, I'm quick to anger, I recover slowly from being angry, I'm hard of hearing, and I'm a lightweight when it comes to drinking. But to be honest, I think we can live with those. So, let's carry on, jump into the game, create a new spawn, and try and survive this damn zombie apocalypse again, eh? Here we go, it's loading. Shouldn't be too long to get into the game now, a few seconds maybe. Here we go. I don't recognise this part of town. Which means I'm guessing it's either Tranquil Vale 
or Hastings. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I am playing this with my multi-map mod installed. So we have an extra five, that's five, full cells of extra real estate. Buildings, shops, streets, what have you. If you can imagine the original cell, and if you can remember that one is already four times bigger than the original original cell, then this has another five of those. Possibly each one of them with more buildings on than what the first one has. Not as expertly done, obviously. Don't get us wrong. But it does make it absolutely massive. And I think we're in one of those new places. Check these cupboards. A oh, couple of cans of pop. Those will always come in handy. A couple of bottles of pop as well. Beans, soup. Remember, I'm strong, so I've got, I think that's a, a buffed weight limit there. Oh, he hasn't seen us, has he? I think he has. I'm trying to stay still. Yeah, I think. Whoa, what's that? What's going on? Oh, look at that sledgehammer. Let's grab that bad boy. Oh, an axe. I like it. Even a saw. I don't want to take both of those saws. Just give us one. That's better. An apple. We'll grab the apple. That will grab that as well. Equip this axe. I think we should be good to go. Oh shit. So, as you can see, you've got the new sprites. This is a new system for attacking as well. I'm holding down the mouse button. The longer I hold it in, the more of a hit I get, the stronger the hit. If the zombies get too close to us, then I use a shoving mechanic instead, which is automatic. Shit. And I'm not doing very good, am I? Run! Yeah, I've been swinging the axe too much, look, and I'm exhausted. Shit. I'm not the best of starts. Let's get out of here. Christ. Not a good start at all. Oh, look at that. It's all boarded up. Let's get out of here. Try and lose these. Can I climb these fences? Yes. Can't get through there. Shit. Load of shops and stuff. Check me health. I wasn't bitten or anything, was I? Overall okay. Yeah. I just managed to get out of there alive. Oh no, I've been seen. Oh shit. I've really been seen. Please tell us there's more than there's a there's a way out. Oh no. I'm already stuck in here. I only came in because I thought I could get out the back here. Please tell us I can. No, I can't. Right. I'm trying to be crap. Shit! Ooh! Jesus Christ, that was lucky. So as I was trying to say, 
these new animations are absolutely gorgeous. Look how much smoother he looks when he's running. They look absolutely brilliant. Plus it allows the team to crank out new animations a lot, lot quicker and easier than what they could do in the past. Because instead of having to draw every single animation from hand, they can use a little system to basically have a 3D model and then export 2D images from that. Yeah, so I think from the look of this road, this is a Tranquil Vale. Or was. I'm getting out of here pronto. It looks dangerous as hell. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Shit. Eat that apple. Yeah, this is Tranquil Vale. Now if I go down here, I think this cell should be Hastings. Yep, here we are. This is Hastings. Just coming into town now. Nice big diner here. Oh, some fridges in the back. Nice. Some nice fresh food. Oh, loads of food in this one. Actually, let's take those sodas as well. Because if you drink them, you get empty bottles back. And then you can fill the empty bottles up with water. Because, as if you've watched me last series, after about a fortnight, the water goes off. And if you haven't got a steady stream of water to drink... Oh, yes, a hammer. I love it. If you haven't got a steady stream of water to drink... Things can go downhill very, very fast. It's half eight. It's getting quite late, actually. I shouldn't really be venturing back outside. But I don't want to spend the night in a restaurant. Oh, shit. Zombies out. This is a big building. getting dark, hard to see. So I back out. Oh shit. Right, I'm not staying in here. They're going to be banging on the door any second. Oh bloody hell. I need to get out of here. Pronto. I need to find somewhere safe. Bed down for the night. Well, this looks like a good enough house. Have a quick look around. Yeah, I can see zombies. Shit, I can see a lot of zombies now. I'm not having an easy time so far. Not that you want to have an easy time. Oh, shit. Ah. Don't run through the woods, especially at night. That was a rookie mistake. Right, it's not ideal. Oh, I can't do it. Yes, that's better. Sleep in a chair for the night. Now, I, th I do believe upgrading your skills is a bit bugged in this version as well. I'm not too sure though. I've heard people say it is. And let's put one in light footed. See, it's took the skill point, but it hasn't went white. But we'll see. 8 o'clock the next morning. Should have a bit more luck around... T oh, shit. Said that completely at the wrong time there, didn't I? Didn't even get the sentence out. Zombies, very active. Yeah. 
if I can, I want to try and uh, make like a safe house in each cell if possible. So I've got a building on every cell to revert to if another cell gets overrun. But at the minute, I haven't even had time to do that. This cell certainly already seems overrun. Get just down the road a bit. Seems to get a bit clearer than run into another horde. No, that's no good to stay in. So I want to try and... Well, oh, shit. I want to try and find somewhere to plonk down. Where I can put all this stuff that I've got. It's a bit strange, bit of a half built house here. Not a good place to stay, anyways. The ruined buildings or half built buildings, something like that. It's quite big. There's just a bunch of apartments by the looks of it. Right, this could be a good place. That's got a lot of windows to the outside. Oh, part of it's burned. So, hmm. Maybe not as good as I first thought, actually. 